here's uh here's the 55 i speak of once in a while that i'm working on it's uh it's a car left behind by my late father he gifted it to my mother um so i'm trying to get it roadworthy and, and dependable and all that jazz for her because i don't need it being a I don't need this thing to be a burr in my rear while she's trying to drive it. Long story short, I took over the project after my father was starting to do some upgrades. I was helping him with a few. And then he began doing a power steering swap with a Borgeson box. And uh, he only got it as far as putting the box in the car and that was it. So I had to modify the, uh, the column. I remember having a discussion with him. He wanted it to appear a stock. So I took over. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, definitely left it. Uh, it looks all the bit stock all the way to the floor. And that's the way he wanted it. And uh, so I hope I, I think I got it. I think I got her done the way he wanted it. Uh, pull the carpet back, which of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't like that. I needed to get to the wiring because I'm redoing all the wiring in the car. I was trying to patch it and uh, replace what was bad and leave you know behind. Try to try to get it on the road by not have to rewire the whole car. Most of the wiring shot, so I just figured, you know what, I got it all apart. I got it down this far. I might as well just do it all so had to pull up the carpet found my surprises but i needed to run a new loom to the back the uh the wires back here are nice and dry you know they're not horrible but they're not that great either and because it you know and of course look there's some there's a little bit of splice and stuff going on being it's my mom's car I need it to be reliable, safe. I don't want any fires. I don't want breakdowns. If it were me, I wouldn't care. <laughs> I'd carry a fire extinguisher and be prepared to walk. I have to say, you play with matches, you get burned. But not my mom. I don't want to do that. So we're redoing the wiring in the buckets, the turn signals, headlights. That one's already done. Um, the uh, car was converted to 12 volt. They added in a modern alternator as well, of course, but they did a pretty piss poor job at converting it in with the wiring. It's all shit, Larry! It's all shit! So I'm essentially starting over. That's why it kind of looks like a mess. But like this here, I just got my own wire found some uh, vacuum tubing to mimic the casing it used to have. It had like a rubber casing on it originally. So that turned out pretty nice. And these here, I'll just, these are more I gotta sort. I think they're for the electric fan and stuff. But I, uh, dad made brackets for the power steering. It's a, a Saginaw pump, or not a Saginaw, yeah, duh. <coughs> and uh, he made the bracket back here for it which seems to work pretty nice he wanted to use the pulleys that were on it so he just fabbed up what he's a pretty crafty dude but he's fabbed up what needed to be done i moved the coil out to where it's at now he had it tucked back in there just uh thinking it was a little cleaner i'm hoping i've never had a heat issue heat soak issue with being right there i'm gonna watch it we'll see what happens i don't think it'd be worse than where it was but i've had to clean up some things been up a new fuel line. Uh, I don't know. I got a picture of it somewhere, but the fuel line that was in here was it was a kind of a joke. So I wanted to bend up a cleaner, nicer fitting fuel line. Um, change the alternator position. The alternator was flipped up for some weird reason, which I've never seen that in a small block Ford. So digging through the stash, I found. Proper brackets, got it turned back down. It's a little close to the A arm, but not bad. I went one size smaller than uh, the belt that was on here. And I can get it on. It's, it's tight fit to jump it on there, but then it tightens up and doesn't come close to the A arm. So we're good. 
I need to change to the proper lower hose. That one down there is rubbing on the lower alternator bracket. Just stupid stuff like that. Uh, someone hacked up the uh, blower housing, so I had to get another blower housing. Well, I did that. I repainted and resealed the whole blower housing unit. Um, just a lot of stupid little things. Um, cleaning up with more brackets and stuff like that. Just a lot, a lot of little knick-knacky things, but it's all in the realm of. But there's something more important here. Safety and reliability, and make make it you know so that my mom is having problems with this thing. So, and I'd already <clears throat> I went through and I rebuilt the uh, heater control assembly. Kind of dolled it all up, new knobs, um, the cables are lubed up. Everything works great so far. So far, <laughs> uh, clock's just a wind up clock, but it's in good shape. The radio, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with. Um, it's kind of an expensive thing. Uh, got a couple ideas. One using a, 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 a round digital typeface designed for a boat that will fit in the bezel. I don't know. It doesn't fit the decor of the car, so I'm up in the air with that one. The, uh, the cluster assembly. I completely tore the entire speedometer assembly apart and went through it. Um, I got some pictures, maybe a little video of that. Switch the temperature gauge over to a 58 gauge, 57, 58, so I could run a more modern sending unit. Real easy to do. Um, it's just a matter of swapping faces and housings. It's actually pretty slick. I, uh, and then I put a voltage dropper from a 57, 58 Ford on the back, so the uh, two gauges are, are six volt. Um, oh yeah, and as you can tell the way the panels are, there's no window crank handle. Yeah, look what's right there. Well, window crank handle, cute. So these are roll up and down rear windows. Um, I don't think they'll ever get rolled down. They do, I did roll it down, it does move, but the panels are not, not set up for handles. So I think we're just gonna pretend we didn't see that and cover back up. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not stock interior. Uh, there's one of the seats right there. It's a <clears throat> split bench uh, interior out of a 77 Thunderbird or no Lincoln, two door Lincoln. That's right. Could be a Lincoln Mark or something like that. But whoever did the conversion of the interior, they did a pretty good job. I mean, to stuff a 77 Lincoln interior in here, it's, uh, it turned out pretty good. It's, it's got a custom riser for the seat bottom that goes there, which is right here. <clears throat> and once it's all together, it, it looks pretty good. Not really my jam, but I could appreciate it. Yes, they are uh, quite comfortable. It actually is pretty darn comfortable. So I'll get it all back together again. Uh, just... The wiring. The wiring is what brought it apart this far. I can't work with garbage like this. So there's a... Uh, brakes have been done. Uh, transmission, I think he was in there resealing it. I put fluid in it. I drove the car before I tore it apart again. Uh, it's got more another leak, but maybe there's something I missed. Or maybe he didn't change seals. I thought he did. And I just skipped ahead and put fluid in it when I shouldn't have yet. Oops. But that's what happens when you pass away and you don't tell anyone what you've done. You find out the hard way what didn't get done. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, uh, the goal is to have this hopefully roadworthy this spring. Maybe summer. Depends how much time I can get and how in dip depth this goes. You know, the floorboard situation, which I'm not real happy about. I don't know. I think I'm just going to pretend like I didn't see nothing. Car's not going to get driven on any other, but probably dry, nice days anyways. Uh, I'd like to get it on the road. I can always come back later and deal with it. 
<clears throat> yeah, that's a nice little cluster, huh? So anyways, that's kind of, uh, that's what, uh, this is the other one I'm working on on the side between everything else. You see the that white short box truck and then the duster and those are the ones I've been working on off and on as I get time. But this one here has kind of been the main things I wanted to get it going for my mom and I got a few other rigs of my dad's to finish yet. Um, I got plenty of work to do. <laughs> It's, there's no shortage. It, it, I'll, I'll, it I'll, depends on what I film. I got plenty of stuff to film. There's no shortage. <clears throat> so anyways, I just wanted to kind of share this one with y'all. Uh, I know I talk about it once in a while. It's on my Instagram. So I figured I'd better make a little video about it just in case anyone's interested. And I, like I said, I was on the fence on putting it up or not because it's not technically my car it's my more my mom's and, uh i don't know i i've put enough hours into this thing now i think we're good but uh yeah but hopefully there'll be more to come hopefully more driving videos done out of here and on to the next so anyways uh we'll see you in the next one <laughs>